one when he was behind the wheel of a deadly subway train crash. The accident happening at the border of East 182nd Street and the Grand Concourse, and that is where we find East 12th reporter Jessica Peloso with the very latest. Jessica. Magdalena, the man who was struck here last night and left here was a former subway operator, Robert Ray. In 1991, Ray was behind the wheel of a Ford train that was hit rail. He killed five people. He was under the influence of alcohol. Tonight, he is fighting for his life in the hospital. Now, he's called to obtain video, surveillance video. Take a look. You can see Ray that he's wearing a striped shirt. He's crossing the street. You see him cross one section of the Grand Concourse. Perfectly fine. He crossed the second section, and that's when you see the hat that he was wearing just flies off. Police tell us that it happened around 8.45 last night. A silver sedan struck him and left the scene. He was rushed to the hospital in critical position. Now, one woman tells us what she saw and what she heard, that he was the operator behind the four train back in 1991. She says it's karma. I was closing, and I saw the guy walking over here, and the car came. He did real fast, hit him, blew him up, and he landed on the floor. Everybody started screaming, they came over, and he was kind of, you know, wiggling when he was touching. I must come back, so I think people should just think about don't drink, don't. And that woman, Magdalena, along with other residents here, say that the bank concourse is deadly. Now, police are looking for a Hispanic man with tattoos. Now, that silver sedan fled northbound on the Grand Concourse. For now, that's the latest. I'm Jessica for most of you. Swap the Bronx. Magdalena, back to you in the studio. Jessica, thank you. And if you know anything, that helps them find them.